The O'Reilly Factor is on tonight. There's got to be someone who can defend Christmas with a little more authority. Over the years, we've taken on the role of protecting the federal holiday of Christmas. Once again, the Grinch is back in the form of Jon Stewart, still denying there are anti-Christmas forces afoot. And this story has major political implications. We will tell you what they are. How sure are you in the next 12 months that Obamacare is going to crater, get worse, people more angry than they are today? 100. Uh, you know, All right, now I got you on tape now. Is Karl Rove still dead set certain that Obamacare will fail? He will be here tonight. I'm not politically correct, Billy. I'm off the reservation. And Dennis Miller waxing poetic on Americans not trusting each other. Cell phones on airplanes and drones landing on your front lawn. I gotta pay right. attention to the kooks right now. Caution. You are about to enter the no spin zone. The factor begins right now. Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Christmas and politics, that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Well, now I know Christmas is in the air because my pal John Stewart once again denying there is any problem with Christmas displays. Apparently, Mr. Stewart has discarded the evidence I presented that there are major organizations intimidating Americans over Christmas displays in public. We've documented that time and time again, including Monday night. But alas, alas, Mr. Stewart is not getting the message. Here's his rap this year. There's got to be someone who can defend Christmas with a little more authority. Over the years, we've taken on the role of protecting the federal holiday of Christmas. Even though it is not in any way threatened. <laughs> But I'll bite, since we do this dance every year, tell me why this year it is especially egregious to use the phrase, happy holidays. It is not egregious, word of the day, to say happy holidays. It is egregious to sue school districts and towns if they display the manger or sing Christmas carols. Are you getting this, Stuart? Are you hearing me? You know what I think it is? Stuart just likes playing the Grinch. What is interesting this year is that Hanukkah will be over on Thursday. So there are no more holidays between then and Christmas Day. Damn you, O'Reilly. <laughs> We've been checkmated. Without Hanukkah, we have no excuse to say happy holidays. Plural. <laughs> because apparently you can't include anything past Christmas, like Kwanzaa, Epiphany, and New Year's. The Epiphany, Stuart? The Epiphany? Well, here's an Epiphany for you and your 18 <laughs> writers. You guys are now on double secret predation. One more time, Buster. One more time. And you are officially voided from Christmas. With apologies to Dean Wormer. Now, the serious side of all this. It is quite clear to anyone with a brain that there is a war between traditional Americans and secular progressives in this country. I wrote an entire book on this called Culture Warrior. I sent it to Stewart. In order to remake the United States into a progressive nation, the committed left must diminish Judeo-Christian tradition, which stands in opposition to them. So they must get the religious influence out, out of the public arena. All the so-called progressive countries are secular. Just look at the map. But here in America, we have maintained most of our Judeo-Christian traditions, but they are under attack. Here's what the secular progressives want. Number one, cradle-to-grave entitlements. Number two, income equality. That means that Americans would be guaranteed a certain lifestyle courtesy of other Americans who would pay for it. That's what President Obama is trying to accomplish. Now, there's no overt religious tenet against the nanny state, so those things come under render to Caesar. In a democracy, the folks should decide what kind of political system they want. But number three, number three, unfettered abortion, that's another matter. The far left wants absolutely no restrictions on destroying a fetus, none. As you may know, we actually had a doctor in Philadelphia killing babies after they were born. Thank God, and I mean that literally, the man's in prison. 
Christians generally oppose abortion unless there is a catastrophic situation with the mother. The far left despises that point of view. Number four, gay marriage. And here the secular progressives have won. They have turned public opinion around and gay marriage is now legal in many places. Once again, the Judeo-Christian philosophy opposes marriage unless it is between one man and one woman. And it took years for the secularists to hammer that point of view into the wall, but they succeeded. And finally, number five, legalized narcotics. The Judeo-Christian view is intoxication is morally wrong because you're altering your state of mind artificially. Basically, you are abusing your body and mind, which are from God. Again, the SPs despise that point of view. So any public display of Christianity is not good for the progressive cause. Therefore, the far left has succeeded in getting prayer out of the public school systems. And if you want to say a prayer before a public meeting, get ready for trouble. That's the big picture. The struggle between traditional Americans who believe that Judeo-Christian philosophy strengthens the nation and the secular progressives who believe that America is an unfair place that must be drastically changed is ongoing. And the tactics are brutal. If you oppose unfettered abortion, you are declaring a war on women. If you oppose gay marriage, you are homophobic. If you oppose legalization of drugs, you are out of touch, an old or young fogey. And if you oppose cradle-to-grave entitlements, you hate poor people. So I hope John Stewart will reconsider the situation because in his heart, he knows I'm right. Christmas is a huge symbol of the cultural struggle in this country and has been for years. And what a great Christmas gift it would be for John Stewart to finally admit it. And I submit. Next on the Rundown Reaction from Kirsten Powers and Kate Obershane. And later